Hello guys, today I'm going to walk you through Julearn AI, which is basically your on-demand tutorial for PDFs, YouTube videos, and lectures even. We're going to sign up, upload real study material, generate summaries, quizzes, and chat with the AI. And then we're going to review the pros and cons of this tool here. Okay, let's dive in. The first thing you must do, of course, is you must go to Julearn.ai which is this page here, and you must click on get started and create your account, okay? And you can just sign in with your Google account or with, you know, any Gmail whatsoever. Now, once you are in the main page here, you're gonna be faced with this dashboard and you're gonna have different tools to choose from. As you can see here in the center, we have three different options. We have upload, paste, and record. I'm gonna walk you through each of these later. And you also have something that is called spaces, okay? Which is similar to how Notion works or how any other note-taking tool works in the sense that you can have different spaces for different categories or different subjects or different things that you want to study. Now, if you go to the left panel here, you're going to see your menu or your tools, okay? You have your spaces again, your history, feedback, and most importantly, you have your Chrome extension, which is something that I want to show you here, okay? So just click on here, and that's going to take you to this page which is the Chrome extension. So just click on install here. And I recommend you use this, okay? Because this is gonna basically allow you to add PDF and YouTube videos from a click. Now, something that I also wanna show you is how you can change the AI model that you are gonna use, okay? Depending on if you need maybe a more accurate answer or if you just wanna try different AI models of it or if maybe one is not working well for you, just go to this option here, which is basically your account. I want you to go to settings and now you basically have to go to your edit profile here. And in the AI model, you get to change it from, you know, from your default, which is like a proprietary model to either Gemini, uh, GPT-41, Deep6, so on, so on, so on. The problem with this is that this is gonna require you to be on a paid plan, okay? You can always change your plan from, you know, your free plan if you just go to your profile again and you click on pricing. And here you can basically, you know, go to pro or go to team, okay? But if not, you always have a free option. The problem with the free option is that it's actually very limited in terms of the, you know, amount of answers and the amount of things that you can do. And you can only get so many uploads each day, okay? But yeah, the pro plan is actually kind of cheap. So yeah. Now let's start by using the upload function. And for that, I'm just going to upload a file that is basically some notes on machine learning. Now, after a few seconds, Julearn is going to ingest and process this document and it's going to present different modes, which you can see here, basically, if you click on this button. You're going to have your chat, your flashcards, the quizzes, the summary, the chapters, and the notes. In the chat option here, you can basically ask any question regarding this document here, all right? For example, let's actually ask it, I don't know, how many, or rather, what kind of machine learning schemes there are. Okay, and from here, you can also select the AI model, which I show you how to do later. But yeah, and you can also choose this option, which is Learn Plus, which basically is more similar to like a deep research in chat GPT. And you can also use the search function, okay? In the case that your question has to refer to something that is not in this document entirely, and you have to refer to the web. But yeah, let's actually search for this. And as you can see here, after a few seconds, it came up with this answer, which is pretty good. And it, you know, kind of fully agrees with what's been said here in the document. And something that I like about, you know, you learn is the fact that it gives you the sources, you know, or the referrals from this document. So if I, for example, click in here, you know, it's going to basically take me to the part of the document where it says this, okay, where it has taken this from, which I find amazing. So you can double check always. Now, you can also switch to the flashcard section to drill key definitions. These are going to take a while to generate, depending on the length of the document, maybe up to a couple of minutes. And it's going to generate basically like a set of flashcards that you can uh, see and you can click on when you're ready to see the answer. Okay, so just read it, think about the answer, and then just click to actually check it. All right. You can also stir these flashcards here by clicking onto these buttons. And then if you click in here, you can see your favorite ones. All right, which is great. And now let's show all again. And now we can switch to another one, for example. All right, then you can do the same process basically. And you can also click on shuffle, okay, to make them be in a different order. In the quizzes mode, you learn creates a graded test and you get instant explanations on all the answers, okay? And you can select from a multiple choice thing or from free response or both. 
Okay, so this is going to depend more on what you like. Actually, I'm going to select multiple choice and I'm going to click on generate. And here we have five different quizzes on machine learning on different concepts. Okay, so for, for example, let's go to the first ones just to see how it is. And here it actually generated four different questions. What is the key disadvantages of use supervised learning mentioned in the content? Let's actually give it any answer whatsoever. Okay, for example, this one. Good. It was actually correct. Now, if you click on next, you can get to the next question and so on and so on, and you can finish it. Now, the summary section is pretty self-explanatory, okay? You're gonna get a summary on this document and you're gonna get access to all the different sources that it uses from within the document, okay? So that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, the chapter section works similarly to the summary section or to the summary mode, but it's gonna be basically like more structure or like in bullet points, and it's gonna to refer to each page in the document, okay? And it's gonna give you like a summary but based on each page. Now, one of the features that I like the most about Ulearn is the fact that from within the document, you can basically select any test that you don't have maybe so clear, like this one, for example. So let's actually select all of this uh, paragraph. And you can just, let's do it again, and you can click on explain, chat, quiz, or flashcards, okay? Most often, you're, you're gonna use this explain function, which is basically like asking the, the a chat, and it's gonna come up with a response or with a summary of what this is. And you can ask any further questions here, which is great. Now, we have only covered the upload section, but the pay section works exactly the same way. The only difference is that you're gonna upload like a YouTube link or a website link or a, or a PDF link, okay? But it works exactly the same way, and it has the same modes. You can also choose to record your own lecture and then ask to summarize it and to ask for the questions. But yeah, I find this option is not very used. All right, so just to summarize here, the pros of you learn is that you can upload different things, both from within your computer and from the internet. The learning modes I find amazing. You have your summaries, your flash score, and the chat, which is amazing. I also find that the AI models are pretty good and they give you accurate answers, which a lot of times doesn't happen in, in other models. And the pricing, I find that is good because you have a free tier, and even the pro tier is not very, it's not very expensive. You know, it's only $12 a month. The cons is that you, for example, cannot upload like an image or like a presentation, like a PowerPoint. You don't have some, you know, like a mind map or like a diagram that you can kinda see better. And you sometimes get kinda shallow answers that do not go into much detail, okay? But I find that it's a pretty good tool and you should definitely use it. Thank you so much.